the first video was on poor ovarian reserve. The second video was for uh, repeat IVF failures or recurrent implantation failure. Now let us look at what is called fertility preservation. And here there are two types. One is what we call a social fertility preservation. The second is oncology. Oncology fertility preservation is for men and women who have to undergo chemotherapy following cancer treatment and this chemotherapy can badly affect the gametes. We at Kim's Fertility Center have the provisions to do sperm cryopreservation in case of a male and in the case of a female if they are unmarried we offer what is called oocyte or egg cryopreservation and if they are married we offer embryo cryopreservation. Fertility cryopreservation is a subject close to my heart as while I was working at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London, we were the tertiary referral centre for the whole of East of uh, London and I have quite a depth of experience in this field. So usually when uh, women present for uh, fertility preservation and if it is either the oocyte or the embryo preservation, they go through what the process is called IVF which involves hormone injections for about 10 days. We collect the eggs outside and if it is a oocyte cryopreservation, they go through the process of vitrification and the oocytes are cryopreserved. And if it is an embryo cryopreservation, we mix the oocytes with the husband's sperm, make the embryo and then they are cryopreserved. So once these men and women following their oncology treatment, once they are ready to start a family, if the gamete function has not come back and if they have fertility issues then they'll be able to fall back on this cryopreserved embryos or gametes so that they'll be able to have a family who's having their own genetic child. Next coming to social fertility preservation. Here we are mostly looking at women who are in their late 20s or early 30s who would want to preserve their fertility as they are still not decided as to when to start a family. And again this social preservation of fertility, the demand for this is more and more these days. This is mainly because of lifestyle issues that the women want to try to start a pregnancy in their 30s, more so in the late 30s once the career has reached a certain level. So again in these women we offer oocyte cryopreservation or if necessary embryo cryopreservation as the case may be. Again here they undergo the IVF process where we give hormone injections for about 10 days, collect the eggs outside, mix it with the sperm to make the embryo or, or we can also preserve oocytes on their own. This is a technique which now uh, in this day and age we have by which we'll be able to help a majority of the women who are not yet ready to start a family and who would want to preserve their fertility. Actually some of the companies now these days are also offering uh, funding for their female employees for fertility preservation.